Hey everyone, welcome back to another installation on this work in progress for the P47. And as you can see, I have it painted on one side just to give me an idea of how the scriber and the riveter work. Riveter work. And um, they do pretty good, they work pretty well, but uh, I need some practice on my side, but especially with the rivets. Because let me see if I can focus on this so you can guys see. Mm. Okay, why is it not focusing now? As soon as I hit the record button, then it has issues. Come on, focus. Okay, come on. There we go. So there we go. So as you can see, some of the Rivet lens are crooked, not straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this off again and uh, re rivet the kit. But as you can see, it looks pretty decent, I think, as far as the rivets go. Uh, of course, you can pretty obviously see that I need practice with that. And what I did notice also is that um, the panel lines, I, I did them way too deep. And some of them are kind of not straight, I actually do. But that's that's on me. Oh. Damn it. Why does he keep doing that? All right, so let me move the aircraft slow. So yeah, some of the lines are not completely straight. So I might have to go and rescribe those two. Uh, the panels the that I, that I did with the aluminum look all right. Oh, I gotta work on that one really bad. That line there, you can see all the scratches that I went out of the actual panel line. So I need to work on that too. But that's okay, you know. Practice makes perfect, right? But anyway, so yeah, they look alright, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep those or just take them off and just scribe them on there. I don't know. I'll decide later on. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Which I'm happy, but like I said, I need more practice. You can see the other side, there's just nothing there. Just the um, raised ones. So, yeah. I did paint the nose cone. This one came out pretty good. Of course, there's nothing scribed on there. Then those were already there. So, I'm going to see if I can at least match these panel lines. And not put so much pressure on the scriber. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I haven't done anything else really. I do like the color though, it looks really good. So, yeah, just a small update. Um, more than likely, I think uh, I'm gonna be working this also on the side. Uh, I'm getting engaged to build another Gundam, so I might work on this one. But we'll see. Don't really want to start more projects until I finish finish at least some of the other kits I'm working on. All right, see you next time, guys. Hey, everybody, what's up? So here's a second part, I guess you could say, of the this video. Since I'm adding this one to the other video I made, but rather than putting that one. Apart, I just gonna join this one to that part. 
So if that makes any sense. So anyway, so uh, here is so far what I've done to the kit. I uh, went ahead and uh, took off the paint and uh, sanded it smooth again and re-riveted re -riveted the the kit. As the same the same goes for uh, rescribing some of the panel lines and fixing them up from what I showed you before as some of the lines were pretty messed up and let me just zoom in here and see if I can show you uh, so if you can see there you can see some of the rivet lines from before so I made new ones and that are more straight I hope I mean I haven't checked them yet so but so far from what I can see they look much better I mean I don't know if I can zoom in some more and if you guys will be able to see that but I'll try and zoom in here I'm trying to get it well I mean you can see the old ones there but the new ones you can't really see because well there's no paint in the little rivet holes as, from the previous ones as you can see there but they're there so once I give this guy a coat of paint you should be able to see the new ones hopefully they're much better than the, than the old ones were especially around the tail area some of them were pretty uneven so let's see now there you can sort of make them out but they're still pretty clear let me see if I can guide you guys you can see there some of the like the white dots there those are the new ones so yeah, yeah, I guess you can sort of see it, at least some of them. But anyways, yeah, so I had to do some f filling where I went off the panel lines, like over here, right there, past that. So that's filled with super glue. Same thing goes with that there. And... Coming along right there too, this right there, there, <clears throat> right over here. So let's see once I give this uh, another coat of paint, let's see what, what it looks like. I did put uh, some rivets here on these um, metallic or metal axis covers. I still got to put more one there and a couple other that uh, I took off so I can do the <clears throat> rivets and stuff but uh, so far it's coming along uh, I also did a headrest for the pilot uh, looking at some pictures so this one goes there I did that there make it look a little more detailed in the cockpit uh, as you can see I added the wings already so it's coming along uh, more than likely, of course, I'm probably end up uh, rescribing the wings too, even though I said I probably would, but uh, might as well, right? Uh, let's see. So I did the f fill the seams up and rescribe some of these areas because the wings were not aligned right, you know, to the body. So you can kind of see they're lined up now pretty good. I still need to do some sanding, a little more sanding, and maybe a little bit more filling. But I have to paint the paint it and find out, or prime it, I should say, to see gauge what else I need to do. Because right here I can't really see it. I mean, looks good. Had to do some trimming on the. Um, wing parts underneath so where it goes into the slot a piece of plastic so I can align it to the um, wing part here I 
forgot what this part's called, but so forgive me for that. But the top looks pretty decent. The bottom is where I had to do more sanding, as you can see there. But it's coming along. As you can see that it's some detail there in the wheel wells. I'll probably add some more as I progress on here. Uh, so what else here? So I did the. Um, <clears throat> I ended up putting some uh, covers here for the exhaust. So I still need to put those in there. But yeah, I used some soda can aluminum there to add that detail there, as I explained before in a previous video. Oh man, I'm moving the camera too much. Focus, come on. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. So I did that. So I just need to put the exhaust tips in there. And you can see the machine gun barrels, which is some uh, electrical pins on there. It looks way better than the original kit parts. I think I still have them, so I'll show you a comparison. Come on, focus. So you can see, it looks way better. I think they might be a bit too thick for scale, but compared to what the kit came with, they look way better. So as you can see, the tip looks pretty good. Uh, so, so far that's, that's it with this, uh, of course I did this side too, on the body, panel lining and rivets, so we'll see how that comes out once I give it a coat of primer. I do need to repaint this though, because that's the wrong color though, but it's coming along. So I need to do some more uh, detailing over here. I need the camera port to go there and just details here and there. So, yeah. and of course, I still have to fix the landing gear side here. As you can see in one of my videos, it broke off when some stuff fell on it, but it's coming along. Alrighty, so that's it for now on this guy. Hopefully when I post another video with this kit, I'll have a lot more done to show you guys. Alright, see you next time.